finally picked me up my very first drone. This one is the DJI Mini SE. It is 249 grams, which means it is under the 250 gram limit that requires you to get it registered with the government. So that's pretty awesome. It has the same camera as the Mini 1, but in the body of the Mini 2. And I also had to get me an SD card. I opted for 128 gigabytes just to be safe. I picked me up some filters as well. These were just some random ones I found on Amazon. Uh, a lot of indies in there and a CPL and I'll show you those later and obviously how to get an extra battery now they don't have one for an SE so I got the mini 2 which fits it as well Here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like and here are those filters so uh, they're not the most high quality when it comes to brand but honestly they look pretty good so here is my footage I went out to my dad's storage building just to get some aerial shots of it for him and I did color grade this. Now this mini uh, doesn't have a log function or any other sort of color profiles that you can mess with. So what I used was a conversion left that converted a generic Rec 709 to log format and then I threw on pretty much the same look uh, that has the look of Jojo Rabbit if you've seen that movie and I uh, just added a little bit of a bloom on there and a bit of a vignette and a tiny tiny bit of a tilt shift effect just to make it a little bit more cinematic and obviously some crop bars. So yeah guys let me know what you think about this and if you want me to do more of an in-depth review of this drone, I know a lot of people haven't heard about the SE. It is pretty much the same quality, like I said before, of the Mini 1. However, it's about $50 cheaper than the Mini 1, but it's in the body of the Mini 2, which means that it is a little bit lighter, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I do know for sure that it uses the Mini 2 battery, uh, which is a bit better when it comes to battery life. However, it doesn't use the AuxSync, so it's still using that Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, but also, it has a level 5 wind resistance, so I did get it up in some wind, and it held up pretty well. It did give me an alert when the winds were high. On that day, it was, I believe, 19 mile an hour winds, which this one can hold up to about 23.5 miles an hour, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this, and if you have any other videos that you want me to go over, let me know.